While holding the Alt key down while moving the face on the hood scoop, we added geometry. In this case, however, we may have added a little too much geometry. If we zoom in and look, you can see that along this face that we selected originally, we added several extra points, one here, one in the center, and one in the back. And those correspond to those points on the edge closest to the windshield. So we could continue and leave this shape as it looks right now, but to modify this a little more and explain how to weld vertices, we're going to connect this point here to this point here and follow that same step for the additional points along the back of the hood scoop. To do this, we're going to select off into the graphics window just to deselect everything. Then we can go to the modify menu, select the arrow just below that by left clicking on it, and find weld vertices. What this does is turns on all the vertex points that are on the model. And we can simply select the one we want to move and then the one we want to connect to to weld those vertex points. As you do that, you'll see the model start to adjust based on this change. Because we have symmetry on, the welding of the vertex point on this side also welded it on the opposite side. So the only other point we had to connect was the one that ran directly along the center line. Now if we look at this from the side view, you can see that we've got more of an angle here and we can fine tune that shape. We're gonna select OK and then right click and select Edit Form and go to the edge mode just to start making some minor modifications. I'm gonna select the edge on the front of the hood scoop and I'm gonna pull that forward towards the front of the car just a little bit. I'm gonna do the same on the bottom edge of the front hood scoop but I'm going to pull it back just a little bit, just to create a little bit of an angle. We can always go into vertex mode or face mode to make additional modifications. But in this case, I'm going to just make a few minor tweaks here. To make the hood scoop look a little bit more the way I would like. And again, this is a matter of preference. Each person going through this project should make the modifications that work best for them. Again, there is no real right or wrong answer, but we can make modifications to get a good feel for the shape we want. You can see after a little manipulation, the hood scoop is starting to look a little more crisp and a little more defined. Again, it's up to you as the designer to know when this is finished. Once you have the form modified to a way that works for you, you can select OK to complete the edit form. The same process could be used to create a fin on the back, it could create a spoiler, it could create lights, or many other details that might be appropriate for your design. To finish up, we can left click off into the white area of the graphics screen to ensure that no edges, points, or faces are selected. Then we can right click and select appearance to apply a material that makes it a little easier to see what the car looks like. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the library and use one of the colors that we've already previously used in this design. I'm going to left click and drag the blue color out onto the model so that I can see a little more clearly what the body looks like. By doing this, you can see things like, for example, the little dent in the hood here. We can continue making changes with this appearance. It might make it a little bit easier, but we always want to return and double check to make sure that the changes we're making when we aren't transparent are not causing the body to bump into internal components. So you may have to switch back and forth several times as needed. I'm going to right click and select edit form, switch to a vertex mode and pull this vertex point back just a little bit to try to start smoothing that shape a little bit more. We can also use the edge points to make adjustments to tighten that shape up. 
now you can see the dent on the hood is a little less pronounced. Continue fine tuning until you see fit.